Trying to decide on a luxury high rise to buy in Las Vegas? There's definitely a lot to choose from, especially on the Strip. By the end of this video, you'll learn everything you need to know about the Martin. Let's dive in. Brief historical background. The tower was originally part of the Panorama Towers complex, and it was originally named Panorama Tower North. When they started this project, there was set to be four towers. Groundbreaking took place in April of 2006, and the doors opened in 2008. Due to the Las Vegas real estate market crash, along that came the crash of all these new high rises that were being built. So they ended up parting ways and creating what is known as the Martin, and this was in 2011. Location and proximity. The Martin is located next door to Panorama Towers and is on Dean Martin Drive and Jerry Lewis Way. The tower is 45 stories tall and is poised for some of the best Las Vegas strip views I've ever seen. This high rise offers direct access to the Harmon Bridge, which takes you to the heart of the city center. Another bonus for this tower is the Raiders NFL Allegiant Stadium is on the same street, just under a mile away. So next door to the Martin, you have Panorama Towers, you got Allegiant Stadium, which hosts some of the best concerts. I saw Red Hot Chili Peppers there, I've seen Beyonce there, Raiders, games, they have UNLV games there sometimes, soccer games, concerts, just everything is right there at Allegiant Stadium. And then because of the bridge, you are directly across from City Center, which has Waldorf Astoria, Aria, Crystal Shopping, Best Shopping. You also have all of that right there and Park MGM and T-Mobile Arena. So technically you could walk to all of these things, which is super rare in Las Vegas. Could you see yourself enjoying the Martin's location? Let me know in the comments below. Unit varieties and floor plans. I wanted to share a couple of units so that you could get an idea of what's available and what the units look like at the Martin. Something to note is that the unit numbers that are even at the end are most likely gonna have a mountain view where the ones with the odd numbers are gonna have the strip view most likely. So if you're looking online, that'll kind of help you navigate depending on what view you want. The reason I picked this unit is they did keep some of the developer grade items and I wanted to show the caliber of those items. They also put their thumbprint on the unit with paint, different light fixtures and some decor, which they, I think they did a really nice job. So this would be your 1437 square foot unit, two bedrooms plus a den, two bathrooms. This is my favorite floor plan. I feel like it lives very well, especially if you work from home. And I love that this one has these great strip views. So as you see, you have Gaganel appliances. Um, this was not standard. They added this back tile, but the cabinetry is standard to the unit. Nice stainless steel. You have your stackable washroom. That's why I also like this floor plan is you have an actual room for that aside from a closet. And then this one has a really nice view and layout, like I said. So here's the bathroom and I wanted to point this out. This is the developer grade Carrera marble, really nice tub, shower. They just did a really nice job updating it, but still keeping the beautiful components of the standard unit. So this one sold for 750,000, which to me is a great price. And you get a little bit of everything in this one. I also wanted to show you a penthouse just so you could get a variety and see the differences. So this one's been highly upgraded, gorgeous unit, a little larger than 5,200 square feet. It looks like they had a designer come in and just totally amp up this unit, take advantage of the peel. And you have three bedrooms, four bathrooms here. I just think they did such a nice job at curating a space that felt like a home in the sky. That's what I love about some of these units is people have taken these units and made them single story homes in the sky. I mean, just look at this balcony. Imagine having a nice party there. Gorgeous. So you will see some units within this building that have been revamped, have been updated. People have had designers come in and just put their stamp on the unit. So I wanted to show you kind of a developer grade unit and then one that has been completely revamped. Look at this closet, incredible. This one's currently listed at 8.8 .8 million and I just love the open space, beautiful unit. Amenities and facilities. Within the Martin, you have a spread of different amenities. And something I really love about this building that's unique is there's two sets of lounge areas. 
And the way that they've done these lounges is somewhere you're actually going to want to hang out. Oftentimes in high-rise buildings, they have a couple of lounges throughout the building, but furniture is a little dated, decor is a little whatever. It's not really somewhere you'd want to go and bring friends. Where at the Martin, they have two that are just beautiful. The first one's gonna be the Garden Lounge. This was actually designed by a designer, Marc Tessier, and it was created as a space to lounge. There's a beautiful fountain there, so it's very tranquil. And then they also have a fireplace, so at night you can light the fire, have a glass of wine or a beer or a cocktail with your friends, and just sit around and enjoy the beauty around you. There's also a gorgeous pepper tree there, which creates a nice shade, so you could definitely hang out there during the day. The other lounge area is the library area. I love this lounge. The first time I saw this lounge, I was just blown away. Not only do they have fresh flowers that get delivered every single week and the arrangements are just wow, like their casino level arrangements and their fresh flowers and they change literally every week. They also have a fireplace there, some board games, complimentary coffee and tea. And it's just a place that you just feel very like hip and cool. It feels very hotel lobby. And every time I've taken clients there, they always take a picture because they're just blown away about how cool this vibe is. There's also a convenience store, which is a commissary situation. I'd say it's more like a 7-Eleven. They have energy drinks, sodas, water. They have some frozen food, some snacky items, protein bars. It's really great like if you're using this as a second home, you drive in, you get in really late, it's kind of nice that there's a convenience there. Or you have some friends staying with you, you don't have enough food, working late. <laughs> it's just a really nice convenience store that makes it really easy if you're a really busy person. There's also package lockers. They have the dry cleaning situation for, I think it's called mint, where you can put your stuff in there and then they deliver it. So very convenient, very easy. Now let's talk about the main amenities. We have the pool, which has a beautiful cabanas. And the way they've designed this pool, it's a boomerang style. And it's just absolutely beautiful. They have a wraparound sun deck. The cabanas really do feel resort style. And the pool's about 2,000 square feet. If you're into grilling, they have a nice outdoor area. And during the summer, you'll see tons of people out there. So it's a great way to mingle, meet your neighbors. They also have an awesome gym and yoga studio. The gym is about 2,400 square feet, state-of-the-art cardio equipment. They have weights, they have some machines. It's always very clean, which is really nice. And you'll always see at least one or two people in there. So it's not completely private. Like some of these other high rises you go to, there's nobody in the gym but it creates a lot of really nice energy and the music they play is really upbeat and hip. Another unique feature for the amenities is they have a spa indoors and then they also have a women's and men's changing room with a steam room. And so it's really nice if you wanted to have a masseuse come, they have some rooms that you can rent to have a massage. You can steam in the locker room and then head into the indoor whirlpool and enjoy that. So it's a true spa experience. They also have a spa outside. So the indoor and outdoor spa I think is a really nice feature. They also have a conference room and business center. Three unique amenities that the Martin High Rise building has that not a lot of other buildings have are the limo service. So the limo service can take you to the Las Vegas Strip or the airport. There's a certain mile radius that it will go for you and it's complimentary, which I think is such a treat. Now those hours change and vary depending on what the HOA is agreed on, but right now they have it available Friday and Saturday. Another area is it is pet friendly building, so they have a really nice dog run. What I love how they've situated this dog run is it's away from the other amenities. So you don't have that stink next to the pool or by an area where a lot of people are hanging out. I think that's a really nice feature as well. The other, they have electric vehicle service stations. So if you have an electric vehicle, no need to worry if you live in the Martin, you can definitely charge your car there. So I always get asked about the parking, so let me dive into that. Parking at the Martin is there is a parking garage which you can fob into and park your own car. And then they also have valet. Both are complimentary and are included in your HOA. If we haven't met yet, my name is Courtney Bentley and I'm a luxury real estate agent and high rise specialist here in Las Vegas. I offer a concierge service to take the headache out of moving to my favorite city, Las Vegas. Let's move on. 
The Martin is 45 stories tall, floor to ceiling windows, and breathtaking views of the Las Vegas Strip. What I love about this building is that you are set back away from the Strip, so you get a true view of the entire Las Vegas Strip, depending where your unit is. If you're on the other side of the building, you do get breathtaking mountain views, and I really enjoy those views as well. A lot of people who live in the building, if they're not super into being with that Las Vegas Strip view, actually prefer the mountain view. They say it's breathtaking, peaceful, and tranquil. Safety and security. Many high rises have 24 hour security, but what I love about the Martin is there's a lot of areas where you're gonna have to fob it into, so that creates another additional space for security. You also have a front desk who makes sure that everyone that checks in, even if you have a guest coming, shows their ID, and they have valet who always asks, where are you headed? So there's a couple of different security measures within the building. They also have 24 hour security and they have cameras roaming all the time. Fun fact, the Martin High Rise Condo still holds the record for the most expensive high rise unit ever sold. Unit 2503 sold for $14 million in 2020. Community and lifestyle. The Martin is known for its friendly sense of community and they make a point to create many events throughout the year. The library sometimes hosts film screenings to gather the different residents. I've seen mixology classes, I've seen wine tastings. They really make a big effort to gather the community within the building. Because the building is not that large and there isn't that many units, I feel a really strong sense of community when I'm waiting in the library for a client to arrive. The library is downstairs in the lobby like I said, when you enter, you see the gorgeous floral arrangement. You head to the left and you're in the library. I sit in there and wait on my clients if I'm early. And oftentimes I'll see different residents come down, get their complimentary coffee, strike up a conversation, say, oh, how was so-and-so or how was this vacation? So you really feel that sense of communication and community within the building. Real estate opportunities. The Martin has about 372 units within the 45 floors. In the market right now at the end of 2023, you're seeing units trade anywhere from 500,000 up to $10 million for a penthouse. The units offer Carrera marble in the bathrooms, gorgeous tile flooring, floor to ceiling windows. Some of the units even have balconies. I really find that this building has a lot of opportunity and a lot of growth. I feel like once that Allegiant Stadium opened, it really opened up that Dean Martin and got a lot of people very excited. The HOA for this building ranges around $750 a month up to $3,300 a month, depending on the size of your unit. Overall, I love the Martin. It's one of my favorite buildings in the city. When you arrive, you just have this sense of resort, hip vibe and I feel like the social community there is really strong. I also love the location. You're not right on the strips. So you don't have to deal with the traffic of the Las Vegas Strip on the weekends, but you're close enough that technically you could walk across the bridge and be in city center, or you could hop in the limo for a few minutes and be in that city center or anywhere on the Las Vegas Strip. The proximity to the airport I think is key, and I think as Las Vegas grows with the Super Bowl and more F1, we just had F1 a few weekends ago, I just really find that Vegas is expanding and growing as a whole. And I feel like high-rise sales have really reflected that, and we're definitely seeing an increase in value in these high-rise units. If you're interested in exploring the Martin or any other high-rise building, definitely check out my videos about high-rise living up here. If you're watching this video on your TV, be sure to scan the QR code to subscribe and never miss a video. If you're thinking about buying a high rise and you wanna learn more about the different buildings in the lifestyle and community, definitely connect with me in my complimentary consultation. The link is in my comments. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you on the next one.